What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today we've got some pretty exciting news. It looks like Conor McGregor is going to play a role in the Infinite Warfare campaign. So you guys can see this morning on Twitter and on Instagram, he posted, when the biggest need the baddest to do work, I answer the call. Keep an eye on Call of Duty tomorrow, and he attached an image of him all suited up in the game on some sort of warship, which is uh, is pretty exciting. Obviously, Conor McGregor is a badass. He just came off of one of the craziest, most intense UFC fights that I've seen in a long time, and uh, a lot of people really like him, myself included. Now, when we look at this image, I'm not seeing the scar patch on his shoulder, and it doesn't really look like the typical outfit that the UNSA soldiers wear, which are like the, the heroes, the good guys of the campaign. So uh, it's possible that McGregor could be an enemy in the campaign, which would be pretty crazy. And obviously you never want to be on the other side of the line from him, but uh, that could make things pretty intense. And overall, this is just kind of exciting because Infinite Warfare is going to be probably the most star-studded Call of Duty we've ever had before. I mean, obviously, Conor McGregor is a huge star. We've also got Kit Harrington as the main bad guy in the campaign. And then for zombies, we know that we have, like, Seth Green, Paul Rubens, David Hasselhoff, and a whole host of other actors and, and stars in the campaign and zombies and all throughout everything. So uh, it's going to be pretty crazy. Now, one thing I do want to, to, you know, kind of hope for and keep our fingers crossed for is that McGregor's role is a good role. So if you guys remember last year with Black Ops 3, there was a big like explosion of people who were really excited because Marshawn Lynch was just there so he wouldn't get fined. He was going to be in the campaign. And then he played like the most minor of minor roles in the campaign. Like it, he was in one mission in the background behind the black market dude when you had like the surprise attack. And it was like, if you weren't looking for him, you never would have known he was there. So I'm, I'm hoping that Conor McGregor has some sort of like actual role in the campaign, maybe says a few lines and that sort of thing. We'll have to wait and see what happens, but uh, it's still pretty cool that they're including him. And uh, obviously, in these tweets and Instagrams, he said to keep an eye on Call of Duty tomorrow, so we should be expecting something new tomorrow. Obviously, it's going to be campaign related. I don't know if it's going to be a new trailer or a new cutscene or a new, you know, little clip from the campaign. We'll have to wait and see, but something is going to be coming tomorrow, which is very exciting. So, uh, there you guys have it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you like McGregor? Do you think he's going to make a, uh, a good bad guy in the game, or do you think he's going to be a good guy? I don't know. I I'm kind of leaning towards bad guy at this point, but hopefully we find out tomorrow. I'm going to catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Peace out.